From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Expect a windy day ahead of a cold front. Greg D is going to time out when to expect rain. Stay tuned for his full forecast. But first, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. Opening statements began this morning for the former ice cream truck driver accused of killing two men in Ruskin nearly 10 years ago. Michael Keatley is facing life in prison if convicted. Prosecutors say Keatley was seeking revenge after he was robbed and shot, but he mistook brothers Juan and Sergio Gatron as the people who did it. Tampa police arrested a man for crashing his SUV into a Tico power pole overnight and then trying to run off. Officers say Rastafari Reed drove away when they tried to stop him just after two this morning. Moments later, officers say they saw a large explosion and they found Reed's Dodge Journey on its side. Police say Reed tried to run away and resisted officers who were trying to arrest him. He's now facing multiple charges. A national nonprofit wants to help you buy a home here in the Bay Area. The problem of finding affordable housing is one that we've been following for months now. The Neighborhood Assistance Corporation of America will break the barrier, stopping you from becoming a homeowner. Its free Achieve the Dream event is being held today through Sunday at St. Mark the Evangelist Catholic Church in New Tampa. Local elections officials are hard at work getting ready for next month's presidential primary. Today in Hillsborough County, they mailed out 12 pallets of ballots to voters. If you want to vote in the primary, the deadline to register or change your party affiliation is February 18th. Early voting begins as soon as March 2nd. It ends no later than March 15th. Primary day in Florida is Tuesday, March 17th. Four, three, two, one. Florida Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed flipped the switch, lighting up this year's State Fair Midway. First responders, law enforcement officers, and active or retired military and their guests get free admission today with ballot ID. The fair is open through February 17th. Want to check in now with Greg D. Find out if today is a good day to go out to the fair. Through about 6 o'clock, D, I think it's looking fine. Temperatures are going to be warm. It's going to get pretty windy with a high temperature in your 80 degrees. By 6 o'clock, we'll be falling into the mid-70s. But, folks, it's all about that wind, which could cause minor coastal flood especially late this afternoon and again tonight during high tide and some of those wind gusts could be over 40 miles an hour. These numbers are the sustained winds and notice they're 20 to 25 by the afternoon and evening, especially we're going to see some rain. I think the best chance in Tampa is after 8 o'clock this evening. The latest on these storms as they move in in the ABC Action News app. <laughs> Mick Jagger is strutting into Tampa this summer. The Rolling Stones will play Raymond James Stadium on Sunday, July 5th. Tickets go on sale February 14th at all Ticketmaster locations. There's no word right now on how much they're going to cost. As soon as we find out, of course, we'll let you know. Well, you can get news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV. Just go.